All right. All right. I am a bit tired, but we are awake and we're doing some Final Fantasy 16. Gonna play this game and scope it out and see what I think about it. And already, I guess you guys kind of know what I feel about the demo because I played it for like, I think I played it for like literally uh, two, three hours. So you kind of got a little bit of first impressions, but we got the full game right now. Just fucking up some plants. I need a launcher or something. That's what I need in these hack and slash games. I need to be able to launch the enemy to oblivion, but comboing them. Works out just fine. Come on, Torgo. Come on. I want to pet him. I want to pet him. Not do the Phoenix dash. Come on. Fuck, I did it again. Okay. Hey, stay still. There. There. Gotta hold the button. Have some food. There you go, buddy. Oh, I love this dog. Or wolf or whatever the hell it is. There we go. Shh. Where was I going? These fucking areas are like expansive and shit. So I, I never know where to go. Oh, I got a cutscene. Yo! Oh, my back! Oh, my back! The cutscene killed my back. <laughs> uh. You're going to the underworld. Yeah, the underworld of a crushed back and a crushed pelvis. I don't know. That's That just seems like a hooker joint or something. I don't know. That's where you go. Where all your sanity dies right there. Is that, is, is that Benedicta? Benedicta? Because, you know, she got fucked in the intro when you played the demo. Bruh, crushed pelvis. Absolutely. Oh, somebody follow me. Hey, A. Williams. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome to the madhouse. Uh, I think Benedicta is going to kill this dude. This woman is a straight thought, though. I told you. And she hurt my dog, so automatically I don't like her. I hate this woman. It's me, Alex, from Discord. Hey, what's up, Alex? I know uh, you sent me a DM earlier. I need to get around to that, but... Welcome to the stream where I just talk about random stuff and <laughs> I talk about Benedicta just completely stepping on people like she's an s and model. And, and the second I turn around and open up my phone, I get a text. I think that is the Royal Knights and they see me. That's bad. You going John Wick on her ass? Yeah, because she hurt my dog. She gots to pay. She gots to pay. <laughs> I don't care if I have to give her mouth to mouth and revive her ass. I want my money. Oh, no. That guy just completely kicked me in the back. Death by snooze do. <laughs> oh. I think we have a sub boss because look at his health bar. Oh, the combat in this game is still sexy as always. Uh, can you sick him, Burger? Please? Why is this man dancing around? What a fucking bitch. Get him, boy. And... He that little bite did like nothing. That was like 20% damage. 
Ted, do something! Holy shit! <laughs> did you hear that Futurama was coming back? I did, actually, and I saw the trailer. And honestly, I I liked it. It looked good. Uh, I don't... The only thing that I kind of felt eh about is they're still making the COVID jokes. I'm like... I think we're kind of long past that era. Like, South Park already did it, so they're kind of super late to the party. Oh, we got a cinematic clash. You know. Press square to not die. Then I gotta do it again. The fuck? This dude disappeared. Oh, never mind. There he is. He's trying to kill me. Oh, shit. Get him off me. Hmm. Well, yeah. I, I figure that AEW Fight Forever would try to change certain names because uh, those names are trademarked by WWE along with people's actual names and stuff like that. So you know how Vince is. I, I figure that AEW Fight Forever would have altered moves and them calling the F5 into something else is completely understandable. At least the move is in the game, but I, I don't see. I don't have any plans to get fight forever until it's on like a deep, deep sale. I am a wrestling fan. Don't get me wrong. I am. What the hell is that? A Zuna drop? Oh, okay. I got to pay attention to the combat because he fucked me up. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That was wild. This guy did a full Azuna drop on me. Magic, magic. Ow. Okay. Uh, I'm in the middle of an intense boss fight. Give me a second. He's almost done. There we go. Get him, boy. This is just like throwing lightning, like... Footballs over there. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's gonna get up. Yep. Heal me, thank you. Brock Lesnar almost died. Oh, are you talking about when he was sick? Or just someone put a move on him and he almost went night night. Forever. In the forever box. The fucky wucky box. <laughs> the fucky wucky box. No. Yeah, it's like... I, I just think COVID episodes for, like, comedy are so outplayed. Because so many people already did it. So it's like, we're just... And plus... People are kind of living with the whole COVID thing now, so it's like, it's nothing really to be scared about. Well, some people are still, like, fearful for reason, but uh, in terms of us young bucks who are not immune compromised, we're going to be fine. It does suck from all the people that actually die from it and family members that were affected, so... Uh, but I, I just think the jokes on the subject itself are kind of just done. It, 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 to me, it seems like everyone has moved on from COVID in terms of, like, just work and all that other shit. But I do remember the funny stuff. Like, I remember going into a store and all the toilet paper was gone. And I was like, holy fuck. They're treating it like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> this is every piece of toilet paper just history. Uh, I gotta still scan just in case because I am nearly dead. You are not well aware. I don't think I ever had COVID. I don't think I ever had it. Or maybe I have and I just simply forgot, but... All I know is that I got my shots like real quick. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna do this conspiracy theory nonsense of getting my shots and 
on getting it over with. But hopefully you had a fast recovery at least, man. And he is... Will he die? I'm just mashing this button real quick. Come on, where's the final stat? Yeah, there we go. The knight. And he is slain. You know, one thing I like is the whole sort of... It feels like this whole medieval vibe with Final Fantasy 16. That's one thing I really kind of appreciate with the game is that it, it has that really royal feel to it. Knights of the past, fucking things up. Uh, that that's a pretty cool vibe. Yes, it. I want your powers, man. You know, he has this like electric Thanos snap that I I don't think that I showed. And it, it was wild when he completely just blasted, like, this giant dinosaur frog-looking monster into one shot. And I'm like, Sid, you know, you're in my party. You could use that, right? Like, <laughs> any fucking time, you could just blow these monsters up to Kingdom Come. One thing I do miss is the party system, how it was traditional, and you could switch between people, but... I still like all the combos in this game. If it were Isaac Clark, he'd just pull out the plasma cutter and shoot the guy. Absolutely. Now you're making me miss Death Space. That's a playthrough I did not finish, unfortunately. It's not due to lack of interest either. It's just, I think what happened was I got so busy that before I knew it, Resident Evil 4 Remake was right around the corner, and I never had the opportunity to finish Death Space Remake. So I was like, well... Other games are out. Uh, I can't really get back to this, that, and that. I gotta finish this hot new game, and a lot of stuff got, like, excuse me, uh, a lot of stuff got pushed to the side. I'm sorry, I still have a cold, by the way. <laughs> uh, so it's a little bit hard to speak uh, with the cold going on, but... Yeah, it was... It just got buried, so to speak, so it's like... I will eventually go back to it. Stage replay. Oh, you can go back to like older stages. That's going to really help you for the platinum trophy, I guess. Have you played Signalis yet? I have, but I never streamed it, unfortunately. Um, what are, it's hard to describe. It's definitely like a classic survival horror sort of top down tank controls game but it's a lot more cryptic than i thought it would be i would say signalis is like it definitely harkens back to the old school of survival horror which means the puzzles layout and uh, overall design feels confusing as fuck i'm not saying it's a bad game but uh if you're a first timer that game requires a guy because i was lost would i recommend it yes if you're i i just i will recommend it for those people looking for a classic survival horror experience uh hearkening back to the day where it had that sort of design but if you're easily frustrated if you don't care about looking up guys all that stuff i would not recommend it only for the old school and, and the people willing to look stuff up otherwise i mean it got high praise. I didn't finish it, so I'll give it a review maybe sometime in the future. I've been watching prototype playthroughs. Yeah, I, I, a lot of people don't know. I'm a big fan of prototype. Uh, it was a very fun superhero game where it, it, I, I remember it was going up against Infamous back then. And prototype was the one where you could do like a power bomb off a building and a jump kick off a helicopter and it, it had those features in it it was a really fun time it didn't age well graphically but it was still a fun game you think the graphics suck or it doesn't matter i i think it was intentionally like it it was definitely intentionally made to look the way it was with signalis and i don't hate it it has that whole retro 
32-bit techno vibe going on for it. So overall, I, I get the art style they were going for with that game. It's it's not bad. It's just something they're trying to capture for retro gaming, and it, it really didn't feel that bad to me. You know, a game I'm looking forward to, Pragmata, which got delayed again. I think it was slated for. No, they working on it for a while, and then they said 2022. Then 2023, then it just simply got pushed into the ether, never to be seen again. Uh, that's not to say it won't probably come out next year, just Capcom is not ready yet. But I'll play it if it's good. I will play it. Hello, Tolkien. How's it going? Oh, welcome to the fun house of me just fighting dogs and skinning them alive that's very morbid but hey that's what the game wants so maybe i can sell all that stuff i have no idea unfortunately i had a friend who was looking forward to forespoken oh no i think i disconnected damn it this always happens when i stream every single second it blows my mind i always disconnect once well little bit of an offline playthrough for now there we go now now my stuff is back that was weird so i don't know dude i always just disconnect for some reason it's weird it happens once on stream and it doesn't happen again so forespoken i am getting that game discounted eventually down the road but not now i just opted to play Final Fantasy content, which was not a bad choice. There we go. So I decided to just wait for Forspoken. Ironically, uh, I heard people say the dialogue in that great. I do remember what was it? It was the freaking other game that came out on Xbox that had worse dialogue. High on life. I. Rick and Morty tier dialogue in any game will make me want to commit to Sudoku. I I just can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would not play high on life for any type of uh, money or, or any type of compensation, any type of gift. I just would not play it. Because that dialogue sounds like the inside of a giraffe's anus, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's <just f> <laughs> I'm just looking around the crops real quick. Well, I, I, I hope that it's good. They didn't give Pragmata a year of a release. So now they can just decide to say, hey, this is when the game is coming out at a later date which I hope will probably land nowhere near Dragon's Dogma 2 because that is a game I'm also looking forward to. Did you play God of War 2018? I did. I got the Platinum, and for what it was, I liked the game. A lot of old God of War purists and pundits will tell you, hey... I don't like this compared to old God of War, but hey, I have all the old God of Wars anyway, so if I want to pop those in, play those, and re-experience Kratos in the Greek era, then I will do so. Until then, though, mm, I, I don't think it was as bad as people say. Same for Ragnarok's discourse was somehow worse because I don't, I don't know why. Like, I'm not saying that game is perfect because it's not. However, I, I I don't I don't get when people say it's a bad game because it was definitely not a bad game at all. I had a lot of fun with it. They fixed a good bulk of my criticisms from God of War 2018. Hey, Andre, what's up? How's it going? Just playing some Final Fantasy 16. Trying to enjoy this game a little bit tonight under congestion. Uh, because I'm, 
I'm kind of sick. Uh, I said this earlier, so bear with me that it's, I'm probably going to be coughing a little bit, but I apologize. I'm still here to entertain regardless. And at least I'm feeling better than earlier, which is a positive. I don't get all the backlash around Ada Wong's VA and RE4 remake. Uh, well, how it started was people said she was bad at the role, and I, I guess I'm kind of mixed on it personally. It's not, it's not great, but it's not the worst. I, I feel like when she flirts with Leon, it's fine. It's more or less, it didn't bother me, but all the other routine dialogues with her character, she was not believable. But that being said, I'm not going to go out of my fucking way to harass the actress for doing her job. You know what I mean? You direct that at the company. So whoever was in her DMs, you know, giving her a lot of shit and being nasty, like, you're a piece of shit. Like, she, I'll just, I'll just be real. You are a piece of shit. It's like I said in the Discord earlier, people cannot separate art from from artists. They can't do it. They don't have the mental capacity at all. Uh, so I, I, I would not go out of my way to attack the actress. Do I think she was being heavy-handed on race a little bit? I mean, yeah, but I mean, the role probably means a lot to this lady for that. I, I can't tell you the reasons why Capcom decided to go in another direction with the other actress that was dropped from RE2 Remake, but it is what it is. It happens. I, I just wouldn't go out of the line and do that. That's ridiculous. Oh, I agree. RE fans are definitely kind of crazy. It's... This is kind of why I, I told myself that community, I don't... I'm a big Ari fan, but I don't mess with the stands because they like to dictate the characters and they don't own the characters. Capcom owns the characters. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I love these characters just as much, but I, I fucking know I don't own no, no Leon or Chris or Ada or nothing. I've been blocked by people who literally said they think they own the characters and I'm like, are you... <laughs> are are you brain dead? I don't I don't think I don't think you're thinking rationally. No. Well, I I'm just like mm, I'm I'm gonna stay away from them people. I've been I've been a good boy for like the past year or so. Cause it's just no convincing it. What's that? Black blood. I have no idea what that does. I have to check. Yeah, it's just simple as that. Like you can say, "Oh, I don't, I don't think she was a good fit," but people in our DM saying, "I'm gonna do this to your dog and all this other stuff." I'm like, "Whoa, bro, chill. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't that serious. It's not that serious, mate." I am very lost in this village. Let's see. Oh, I do have a world map. Let's see. Can I set my marker? Yes, I can. What about, that's inaccessible, that's inaccessible, and I'm not sure about all the way over here. I see it, okay. I, I, I didn't like that either about Hogwarts, where people made sites to harass other people. It's like, let folks play the game and see what they think about it. There was definitely positives and negatives I said about it on the podcast. But... I, I don't think we brought up any of the controversy or anything like that, but that was ridiculous when that happened. So, I don't know. It's, it's just video games. It's definitely not life or death, but some people treat it like that. And that's why I, I just... I, I tossed those people in the river. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't hate Young Yeah either. Now, is he a... Do I think he's a terrible content creator? Yes, I do. <laughs> I have my reasons. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, you know, you totally 
need to have your career taken away and all other stuff. It's, that's just too extra. Do I think he needs to be Kiryu? Probably not really. Uh, I would go with someone else. Because <laughs> Young Yeah likes to spread a lot of misinformation. That's like, well, I can't say he's worse than Dreamcast guy, but I don't. It's just a lot of content creators now that will thrive off of clout and just saying hey man starfield being 30 fps simply means your game is unfinished i'm like what are you talking about what does that mean i don't think a frame rate choice means the game is going to be unfinished stripping away content no that's that's wholly different if someone said that for cyberpunk i would agree because at launch they were taking a lot of stuff away like wall running, vehicle customization. Yeah, that's cutting out content. But frame rate choice is it's not the same, it's just a choice. And Sid just completely stabbed that man in the neck. He's like, I'm not playing this time. Oh man. What? Did I get logged out? And it says I got logged out. Oh, I'm gonna log back in. I'm gonna log back in. Yes. I don't know what's going on with my stuff today. What the hell, Clive? I'm here, buddy. I swear, all, all type of stuff is happening. I get signed out. I can't see chat. Oh, man. Something went wrong. Let me check and see if I'm live on do, 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 Twitch real quick, because that's weird. Tech issues. Don't we all hate him? That dude ran. He's like, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not fighting you guys. I don't know what's going on. Uh. Yeah, that's cringe. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got chases, dude. Okay, so... Let me try to get my chat back up. What the heck? Oh, I think it did stop. Yeah, I see a dark screen. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, I will stop streaming and I will try to stream one more time. Yeah. I don't know if we're... Are we live, bro? Are we back? Huh. You know, it would figure the second I try to stream Final Fantasy 16, I can hear myself now. That's okay. Yes, we're back. I think we're back. Uh, sorry about that. For some reason, everything's dropping for some weird reason. I don't know what the hell is happening. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to get the stream like back on track. And see what's going on. Let me see. Uh, can people hear me? Oh, okay. They can hear me, but I, I simply can't see the chat on my end. And for some reason, Discord is down for me. That's so fucking weird. Well, does your computer have a cold too? Probably so. I don't know. Let me see. It's it's always something weird going on as soon as I live stream. So let me just check to make sure uh, my accounts are fine. Uh uh uh. Ooh, whoa, Nelly. Yeah, Twitch is fine, but I just don't see chat. So if I'm responding to Ghost, then my bad. Uh, there are people there. Fans wanting to see Ashley's underwear is just plain weird in my eyes. Now, as far as I know, that was in the original. That was that was in the original game. But it's a matter of okay, what do you want? Do you want the weird Leon looking at Ashley's skirt thing and she's not as great of a character, or do you want 
a better fleshed out character that's less annoying in this remake compared to the original i'm going to go with the character that's actually better than because I, I can't stand og ashley she's she's fucking all she's awful dude I, I i can't stand the character i can't do it there's been a dicta oh she wants dick does she just spit out something what the hell drink this piss <laughs> okay I've I've heard it all today. I'm sorry. Uh, Benedicta was trying to fuck that one person earlier, and I was just like, "What's going on?" Instead of killing them, you leave the rat straight to us. Mercy. Also, yeah, boy, I hit like. She just killed him. Okay, this this chick gotta go. She got the goal. She's just going around stabbing folks and whoever she feel like. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, she is a dominant, I believe. Which, I mean, the demo already kind of spoiled. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, playing that Econic Challenge really spoiled that. So I kinda knew ahead of time. Oh no. Well, this is not good. It looks like the thing from fucking Devil May Cry 5, you know, the thing that lady was encased in. Ow. Girada. We got like a boss here. I gotta divert my attention on her. Come on, Torgal. Get her. Oh, I love the boss themes and music in this game. Fucking soaking cooked. I'm telling you. Yes. Can I do air combos? Yes, I can. They say this game gets a lot better later on because you get more weapons, which I'm waiting for. Because I can't wait until I get more skills. I can just start walking things up. So all I got is my dodge and my sword. And that precision counter that I keep doing. Wow, this bitch hit me! Are you serious? Oh. I got out of the way of that, come on! I have no more potions, by the way, so I'm going to need to go to a store. Eventually, or I'm gonna get clapped later on. I think now I can kind of deal with it. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> I need some potions real quick. I gotta go back to the village. Oh, you too slow. Please, Thunder. There. You're almost done. Shouldn't do. There we go. You're gonna get all of that. And this. And this, you two winged slut. <laughs> and that down thrust. Okay, and now she's back up again. Oracle! I need you to do something. So you know what? Heal me. Be of use. Heal me, boy. It's almost dead. I am not confident in dodging that when she comes right at you.
I'm dead. There we go. Let me look at the chat. Ooh, uh, this is the same combat director, Ryota Suzuki from Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, it's definitely similar in a lot of aspects to it. I appreciate it a lot. DMC5 is literally like one of the best action games I ever played. If you haven't played it, play it. It's really good. It's really accessible to a lot of people. How the hell? I still am wondering why I can't log in through OBS. But it's really good. It's really accessible. It's it's a fun experience from top to bottom. The combat does open up more when you get Garuda. I figured as much. So, Sadolphus. I have played it. It's great. He knows. He knows. He he knows Devil May Cry. He knows the storm that is approaching in that game. Lord Commander. Mm, let me try something real quick. I want to actually restart my phone and try logging in you are stealing my brand and then eventually i think i'm gonna have to cut the stream and then come back because <laughs> everything like all fucked Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominus Of course. And she's gone. As they always do. They fight a little bit, yeet, and then disappear. Disappear into the ether. Disappear into the pussy. Disappear. All the voice actors are superb. Yeah, some person, I forgot who it was on the podcast. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Bond. I'm... They said they don't like the British voice actors, but I don't I don't have an issue with it. It's fine. It's 100% fine. I don't I don't mind them being British. It adds something different to what is expected, which is like uh, you have your translations and then you have your American actors. It's like if you want that, then just play Final Fantasy 7 remake. Because it has that all in speeds. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. That's right. Hmm, I'm not sure. Is Discord down, bro? Because I can't get back on that shit. <laughs> I can't. I can't get back on that, and I can't get back on. Uh, uh restream chat via twitch so it's like <laughs> i'm talking to phantoms yeah clive's voice actor is good and he's actually someone who has played the series which i like i always like that recognition of someone who is actually a fan of what they're voice acting i forget this guy's name i know he's the voice actor of sonic in the movies what what is this what is this freaking name? Damn it! I forget his name, but I know it's the voice actor of Sonic in the movies, and he can talk about the Sonic lore just like he's one of us. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's it's crazy, but I I, I like people like that because you have those actors you can't relate to when it comes to video game projects like they'll say no oh, i i don't i don't play games i don't know what that is maybe my son plays it i don't know but i i love when vas are just as passionate as us because in their interviews you know exactly what they're talking about when they say oh I, i've i've got all the chaos emeralds in this game that game and i i know the lore behind this and that uh, Henry Cavill's also great. A great nerd as well. He loves the Witcher franchise, the books. I think he's going to do very well in Warhammer, which is, once again, another franchise a lot of people love, and he's behind it. Like, like I keep saying to Hollywood, get these nerds behind these projects because guaranteed, when you have actual people who know the ins and outs, 
it will be probably better for, for the project. It will be it will be way better. Now that's not to say get everybody because some people <laughs> they they are content creators. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But th those people who know, get them behind a script or something. See what their input is because. I think nine times out of ten, this is why a lot of those video game movies suck ass. Because what happens is people don't know what the character is or, or what the story is about. They take their own interpretation, they butcher it, and then we get bad video game movies. I'm glad we're finally starting to get away from that. Finally, it is is finally happening bit by bit. It's not perfect, but we're getting somewhere. Tell me something. The more you get those people that understand it, the better it's gonna become. I I never watch The Witcher Netflix. I just hear my friends constantly talk about it, say that it's mid. So I believe it personally. I want to get more into the series. I know they're gonna have that Witcher remake, which I'm looking forward to. Cause I saw the animations of the original Witcher and I'm like, what the hell's going Yeah, you need to remake this game because the way Gerald holds his sword in the original is absolutely bad. <laughs> it did not age well at all. Uh, my first Witcher game was Witcher 2, which I guess that's not a bad start. But I just remember when I played that game, people were like, don't play the first one. Don't play the first. Don't do it. I was like, why? What, uh, shouldn't I start from the beginning? He's like, just don't do it. Watch the recap and Witcher 2 and go from there. And then and then play Witcher 3 and go from there. And after seeing those animations, I can tell why. It's, it's It has not aged well at all. So I'm waiting for that remake. And when it comes out, I'm going to be on it day one. Can't wait. Can't wait to play it. Can't wait to see how that's going to go and how they update all the features and lore and backstory since they have now Witcher games ahead of that first iteration. So they got stuff to build off of, which I, I am so excited for that. I saw that announcement. I'm like, okay, CD project red. All right. That might be one for the record books. That, might, that, that, that just might be one. Uh, let me see. Let me do this instead. Not strong enough to keep out the royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure. I heard Cavill directly told the showrunners. He he told them straight up, 100. Here's what we should do, and they simply just took all of his notes and completely disregarded them, which was did not turn out well <laughs> considering how people just sort of shit on that show and it's it reminds me of what happened when people did this with silent hill hd collection there's a bunch of notes that tom hewlett said look this is how you fix the game unfortunately i can't be here to supervise i got to go on a vacation and then Konami fucked it up. They took all those notes, threw it in the trash, and then we got the buggy mess that was Silent Hill HD Collection, and it's the worst HD collection of all time. Right. Shall we? I don't know what's going on with my PC. I, I think I might split this part real quick, and then I'm going to try to reset everything and come back online. Because this always happens. I'm like, what the fuck? This always this always happens where it's like I just try to get on. I try I try to do something, and then the second I hit that live stream button, it goes kaput. But I'm really invested into this game. I really do like it. The Mario movie was amazing. I don't know. Is 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 something happening on the live stream, Mike, and anything? Anything distracting because it's so weird that I can't see chat. <laughs> I have to look on Twitch to see it. Well, at least I completed this mission, so I might s split it, restart, and then go from there. Because the stuff likes to act, unfortunately, out of my control. I am going to get a new computer, though, very soon. 
which is nice. But first, I have to get through the hell that is October 2023. Because guess what? There's going to be thousands of new games coming out because game developers are like saying, hey, let's just completely have a giant orgy on October and release all of our games. Not even freaking see the foreseeable future that we have like open release dates for november and december no we want to release every singular game on october and it's completely ridiculous something's not gonna sell gaming industry i don't i don't i don't know what you're thinking but you're gonna have a project that sells like shit because so many people are going to be picking so many different games and they don't have a lot of options because of so many releases. Now, I, I love the fact that there's something for everyone, but uh, that only goes so far when you want to make money. Something's not going to sell well and it's going to happen. I, You know what I think? That Metal Gear Solid HD collection i don't think it's gonna go over well at least during october i think that's gonna be the first casualty we see because i mean it's a remaster for 60 bucks and uh, tons of new games are coming out and spider-man 2 and alan wake 2 mario S some something's not gonna click I think later on people will buy Metal Gear, but at launch, no, no. I, I think that might be the first one to fall. Uh, did you hear about Twitch's new rules on multi-streaming? I did actually. They said if you multi-stream on multiple accounts, you could possibly get your channel terminated. Now, if that happens to me, I got a kick as a backup, so it won't be a big deal. It won't be a big problem. I guess we have to see what happens, but I, ha I have like 460 people on my Twitch. That would be ridiculous. If that happens, if that's true, I'm never coming back to Twitch. That's It's done. It's just, I'm not dealing with it anymore. Uh, but I, I mean, I hope MGS does well. I, I hope so. I love Metal Gear Solid. It's, it's one of my favorite franchises ever. What the heck? It seems we'll be spending the night. Now my browser died. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Me if I told you. It's like at one moment it was up, the next it was just blank, blank, blank. Lies of P, that's, that's Tolkien's game that she's going to pick up. Pinocchio, Souls. Um, wait, Liza P is coming out in October? Are you serious? Wait a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me look that up. No, it just says, well, no, September. Okay, okay. What, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Lords of the Fallen, am I? That has to be the one that's coming out in October. Well, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Do, do, do. You. Oh, it is. Yep. Something's gonna. Something's gonna fail. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I see it happening. Something's going to fail. It's too many games. Hell, even. I, I don't know why there's not a whole lot pushed into august but hey game developer I, I i don't know how game development works i'm sorry i was just saying like some stuff could have came out earlier or later but maybe the game's still in development i don't know we will see what happens when that game comes out i just find it funny they rebooted it Hey, my my twitch chat is back and so is my that was a weird crash what the hell? Oh, he gave me 
something something of the hanged man and, and, and the first thing i see is spider-man being hung in my discord so i guess <laughs> i guess that's funny as hell yes yes is back this back is back baby you don't need to worry about that just yet oh my chat's back i don't have to reset nothing i believe let me check one more thing before before I go and check on this, let me check one more thing. Live is just like, what the fuck happened? I was the dead of night. I had to gather information from two villagers. So before I do that, what is that guy doing? Like he's he used diamonds for everything, like. The light up stuff, the half sex. I just use diamonds for all type of stuff. Diamonds on the titties, everything, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, diamonds on the titties. <laughs> Red? I, I, I didn't say anything wrong, I believe. At least I don't think so. Well, no, never mind. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. I need to go ahead. Oh, it put the video in increments. Damn it. Okay. Well, I guess you guys will be getting the full experience later on YouTube when this is a VOD. Sorry about that. Dude, the graphics for Lord of the Rings Gollum has to be some of the worst graphics I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I, I don't know what they did to the little Gollum thing or whatever, but he looks like a dried out piece of bubble gum. It's that bad. It's... I was like, what the hell? What the hell? This looks like a Nintendo DS game. It's really that. I don't get what they were going with there. I heard the game was funny, which, I mean, I would believe it looking like that. <laughs> the guy has, like, bulbous eyes just popping out the back of his head. <laughs> oh, my God. That's something right there. I, I can't I can't explain it. It's like someone trying to put together some Tinker Toys and a potato, and that game was produced. Oh, maybe that could be a playthrough. I, I would be laughing the whole time, though. My mic would peak. It'd be done. Oh, a young maid? French maid? Ooh. I'm pretty sure I have to find someone slipping. Well, I got like a few side missions here that you can just run around, get information, and then I have to speak to sit. Now wait, before I do anything, I need I need some I need some groceries real quick. So Renegade, I have a Metal Gear question. I've watched the full timeline, but I cannot decide if Big Boss is a good guy or bad guy. Which is he? I would say he's kind of anti-hero-ish because i mean well you know the spoilers for metal gear solid 3 uh the government kind of pitted him against his mentor and he didn't want to kill her but he had to so he wanted an establishment for soldiers who were affected by war and kids and and all that stuff and he wanted to create his own paradise most people will see that as heroic. However, it led to the Metal Gear Project, which is a bipedal nuclear warhead tank capable of destroying entire countries and wiping them off the face of the map. You can see where the legality and the lines get crossed, and it's like, whoa, maybe you're going a little bit too far with this man. So I would say he had good intentions, but the way he tried to achieve them was villainous 
and that led to Solid Snake coming in, his biological clone, and and clapping his cheeks. So it, I I'd say he's anti-hero at at most. That's what I would kind of classify that as. But you can see him as a villain too. So it's, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of both. Ah oh, yes. I trust it's all. I love Metal Gear though. I I I wish I could talk more Metal Gear lore. I might do that on the channel when Delta comes near and do some Metal Gear opinion pieces on the series because. I think people might be quite surprised by that. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. Oh, yes, I do. I got the information. The USA is the villain. Well, just like any other sort of media that you've probably paid attention to. It's a lot. It's a lot of conspiracy theories and stuff like that in Metal Gear Solid. It's, it's a lot of them. The only Metal Gear game I played was Revengeance. So yeah, Revengeance is not as plot heavy. It's basically a character action game like Double May Cry. So you're hack and slashing people, you're you're slicing people in half. You're mostly doing these cool backflip moves and, and, and stuff like that. The story kind of took a backseat for Metal Gear Rising. Which is why a lot of people say uh, MGR really doesn't have a lot of story. It, it doesn't, but it's supposed to be like that. That's kind of why I like it. Like people who are Metal Gear Solid purists will shit on MGR, but I'm just like, hey, I love Double May Cry, so this is more for me, right? Uh, but it does definitely take a backseat on story. So if you play that one, you're probably not going to get the full Metal Gear Solid experience, which is full story, full backstory, crazy shenanigans. I can upgrade my stuff here. Uh, let's see what kind of equipment I actually have. I don't think I've taken a look at this at all. Oh, I can upgrade the Torgal? I can, actually. It's like little bars there, so it seems like I probably can. Yeah, MGR is just pure hack and slash enjoyment. This thing has low stats, so I'm selling it as I usually do. If I have a weapon of lower par, I get rid of it. As I always do in RPGs, the badge of might increases your attack power to seven. Oh, do I have that on? I don't. I don't actually think so. Uh, uh I might as well use that over the rings because the rings are overpowered, and I saw Polygon sort of <laughs> trying to say, "Oh, you can beat this game by pressing the." Square button. Like just don't use the rings. Just just don't use them. Why are you using the rings? You're making the game easy for yourself. <laughs> You're trying to say that it's it's easy to get through because those are turned on. I'm not I wasn't born yesterday. I I turned them on in the demo and then when I realized that the game was doing everything for me, I, I turned it off immediately. Yep. The ring of focus, evasion, and strikes. All of those are easy mode. And when equipped, Clive will automatically use a potion if his HP falls below a certain point. So that's like if you're not paying attention. Um, you know, that's that's fair, but all the other ones where you can just dodge everything. I, what? The, and it does it by itself? I'm like, no, I'm turning that off immediately. We want equipped. Pet commands are executed automatically. I don't need that on either. Just increase of my healing and attack. Time slows before an available enemy attack strikes Clive. That's, again, stuff like that is broken. So I'd rather not have it on. I don't mind the badges, though. Or the instant potions that will be used if you're about to die. Because sometimes I... I'm not gonna lie, I forget. <laughs> I'll be like, I kind of forgot to, to do this. But that's fine. Now that I think about it. Oh, wait. I can upgrade this. It goes up. How much is it? Do I have enough gill? I think I do. Yes. 
hope it's to your liking. Yep, that's the stronger longsword. Stronger bands. Stronger belt. Ah, yes. Oh, I'm running out of money. I'm running out of cash. What is this? This is as a new song to the Hideaways Orchestron. I got like music collectibles. I would assume. Should get one more potion. What Final Fantasies have I played and why? So I have played Final Fantasy VIII. I have played Final Fantasy VII original and remake. There was another one I played that I, I just, it's on the tip of my tongue. I think it was 12, but it's been such a long time. Um, that was another one too. So many. I think I touched a little bit of Strangers of Paradise. And then I've played this game. And that's about it. Like, my history is not too diverse with Final Fantasy, but I have played them and I have enough knowledge of them to talk about them. Uh, so I would, I would feel that I've played a little bit of them. But in terms of going all the way back to the past, no, I, I need to pick up the Pixel remasters and enjoy my time with those too. And I, I don't mind playing older rpgs because one of my favorite rpgs is grandia one and two as well as uh well it's, it is old by today's standards but it's not like ancient rpg which is dark cloud i i love dark cloud a bunch so i i definitely do love older rpgs as well so i don't mind going back in time and playing more of them for the channel or talking about them more hopefully and I knew it. Oh, oh, I almost killed myself. Fuck. <laughs> it just turned around and I almost died. At least there's no fall damage from what I see, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Did I sell my stuff? Uh, I am not a Star Ocean person, but I would be open to playing it. So I, would, I wouldn't mind it, really. Just depends on when I can squeeze that in. Let's see, is that the one... Which is the, this is the one I should get rid of because it's not a lot of money. Okay. I'm just making sure I didn't, I didn't sell any of my other shit. I have not played any Fallout game, actually. Same for Mass Effect. It's a couple, it's a couple of surprises that I need to get back to in terms of, uh, the whole Western RPG. What are your other hobbies besides gaming? You know, just simple stuff, really. Movies. I'm a big movie guy. Um, it's really. I, I love technology. So, of course, phones and, and stuff like that. Computers. I have sat and repaired uh, as usual because I deal with. A roommate that is not tech savvy cooking you know i'm a little bit of a foodie so i i, I love cooking and making stuff and making ingredients and stuff like that and you know chefing that's pretty fun what are these oh i can craft those into other material i don't know if i've been not paying attention but i don't i don't think that i've ever crafted anything Trying to see if I have actually. I heard the flash wasn't that good. Honestly, the ideas of the movie I do actually dig. It's just the CGI is not. Oh, that CGI is kind of bad. I don't know what uh, a Andy Machete, whatever his name is, I don't know what he was thinking saying that it was just a dreamlike state flashes in because. He runs around a lot, and that's why the effects are distorted. Now, that would make sense if it didn't look like a PlayStation 2 game. I think he's just damage control in there. Like, I, I like this director, too. I'm not going to say he's 
ask because a lot of people have been saying that oh don't let him do this or that he made it chapter one i like that movie i i'm not gonna say someone isn't fit for the job if they made a movie that one i liked one i didn't i, I feel like that's the nature of the business not saying i i don't like flash because i actually do but I'm just saying in general, if you made one banger and then you made one mid movie, then I don't think you should be ousted out. It's not like a Uwe Bowl situation where everything he made was complete and utter dumpster fires. That man could never direct again and I would be happy and I would sleep well. <laughs> I, I really would. Oh, here we go. So we got some abilities here that we can upgrade. Oh, let's see. And they are very expensive. They are very, very expensive, actually. God almighty. All right, that's the ones I own. That's a dodge. Lunge. What would I be using? I have the burning blade. So what they do is you can master them, keep upgrading until you're finally done. Like enemy step from DMC. Card shot, you know, I might as well just get the expensive stuff out of the way. Oh, what is this? The Phoenix Shift. I'm gonna get this one. Just more of a stronger cyclone. I'm not gonna say I don't like Dragon Quest. But, I mean, I'd be privy to checking them out. Just depends. Across the Spider-Verse... Everything I heard about it is lit, and I can't wait to watch it personally because I feel like it has a really... Everything I heard so far, it has a really, really interesting story. And I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. And that's all I'm going to say about it because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I never played Dragon Quest, but I would be open to it someday. Because I did say earlier, I don't mind playing a lot of older RPGs at all. It's something that's on my to-do list in terms of that. But even if I did, I did take a break from modern RPGs. Really, this genre is really thriving. You got a lot to play. It's, it's a lot out there. I'm talking JRPGs, Western RPGs, games with... RPG elements blend it with something else. If you're an RPG fan, I don't think you'll ever stop eating because now it's in everything. It's in almost everything. And you just, there's no fatigue. You never get tired of it. It's just there. And people are constantly engaging and consuming in the content. So that's why I said on Twitter, those guys are eating good <laughs> more than good actually they're they're eating a giant fucking buffet there's it's no way in hell they're eating down bad they're eating some ass right now i'm talking like they're eating a peach a good peach <laughs> let's say eating some ass i, I, I need to go to bed yeah <laughs> i'm crazy man uh, don't mind me. It's just the late night mentality. Wait, what the hell is that guy carrying a? Well, I thought he had a stilted animation. I was about to laugh at that for a minute. Well, I have to go all the way over here. At least I have potions. Make for hair, Norvent. Either way, it's far. Hmm. One thing is there is a sprint, but it seems to initiate randomly. I don't like that. I wish uh, there was the Final Fantasy VII remake sprint where it's like you press one button, Cloud is off, he's running. Oh. I'm out in the woods. That's not good. 
Ooh, that was a little bit scary. Yep, there's the sprint. It's automatic. And I don't like that. Hello, boys. Oh, shit. I pressed pause by accident. The upcoming sword and fairy RPG. Honestly, I've not seen it. But I will put that on my watch list because, as I said, all RPGs just make me curious. Like, I, I would not consider myself as an RPG god or anything. Because that would not be candid or sincere if I did. But I do have a big love for the franchise. I've been playing it since the year oh, when I start playing RPGs. Mm, when did Grandia come out? I don't know when. I would say I started around 2000. That's when I really started getting into them in at the year 2000. So it has been quite a bit. Uh, but I need to inject a little bit more of my blood, and I think I'll be good. What the rod is thinking? I will definitely take a look at that. I've heard of Kadoka. I've seen it, too, and I've seen it reviewed. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like a horror RPG. But I've not touched it. There's there's one horror game that has like RPG elements that was really interesting that I have touched. Not a lot of people know about it, and it is Galarian's. It's Resident Evil with psychological powers and RPG elements. It's absolutely fucking insane. I recommend checking it out if you like those old school PS1 games where you can set people on fire and blow their heads off because if if your AP gauge goes all the way out, you'll blow people's brains out with your mind. And it's it's, it's absolutely crazy as it sounds. Oh, Galarian Zone. Let me put it in chat. Let me, let me put it in chat. How you spell it? I think it's like that there. Have I played Parasite Eve? Yes, I actually have. I stopped somewhere in my playthrough. I forget where. I was in the gun shop, I believe. I just remember the last thing that I did that people kind of, well, that my friends at the time kind of talked about was when I was fighting the giant worms in uh, Central Park. They were kicking my ass. I, I don't know what was going on. They were just kicking my fucking ass. I'm like, I can't. This little worm piece of shit. He's, he just keeps like throwing these rocks at me and I can't dodge them properly because it's, I mean, Parasite Eve, for all intents and purposes, as much as I love it, it is definitely an old game. So if you're trying to dodge, it's, it's really hard with those, uh, sort of antiquated controls, Resident Evil style controls. And it, it was just tough. So I was getting my ass kicked by some worms last time. And I stopped at a certain point. And I was laughing at the dialogue because the dialogue of, well, we need to have the sperm seed on observation. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Unfortunately, though, that is a game that is offline exclusive. So if I do go back to the playthrough, I will not be live streaming it because I, I just don't. It's something up with old RPGs. I don't I don't like live streaming them, even if I'm doing playthroughs of them. It doesn't make sense, but that's kind of how I operate. So I, I do have the next part. I will go back eventually, maybe. Maybe after tomorrow, you'll see another part, but I do like the game a lot. I like that you can. The cool part about that game is it's an RPG, but you don't, you're not like, it's hard to describe. It should be easy, but how can I explain Parasite Eve? It's like you're customizing guns and, and upgrading your guns with a leveling system. So you got like a stronger Magnum or you might got a shotgun. You might got an assault rifle that's like a level 19 and you got a crafting system. You can upgrade that bitch and, and shoot enemies and monsters. And it's like... This would actually be really good for an RPG style 
action video game where you got your stats all over the place and you're shooting people and you're getting stronger upgrades that way. I wish Square would bring it back, but all they care about is Final Fantasy right now, which is what I'm playing. So, unfortunately, we won't see that for the next, like, 20 years. Parasite Eve Remake Be Damned. I've played a little bit of Galarian's Ash. It's okay. It didn't have the same effect as the first one. But the gameplay is kind of, like, cool. And, and that's all I can say about it, really. I didn't get too far in that game. I just remember... I kind of liked it, and that was it. Villagers at the gate. What the fuck are we doing? We are total numb nuts. They're so blind to. Parasite Eve remake would be amazing. Unfortunately, it's not happening. I can tell because it's Square Enix. So Square Enix loves Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy only. And, and maybe Kingdom Hearts. So at best, you're going to get a lot of Final Fantasy from them, and you're going to get a lot of Kingdom Hearts spinoffs. And that's all they care about. They sold off half of their Western division. And so all they care about is this franchise, which I'm going to keep buying them. I love Final Fantasy. I'm going to keep, keep making them. I keep buying them. They keep being good. I'll keep buying them. But it's not as same. I mean, excuse me. It's not the same as uh, what the fuck was their old name? I forgot. Squaresoft. Yeah, it's not the same as Squaresoft because they used to be very diverse in making video games, and they don't do that anymore. They they're kind of like I don't want to say a one trick pony with Final Fantasy, but maybe I guess you can think that way. Let's see, they kind of wanted me to go over here. Long wing, time worn, remnants of a fallen airship. Looks like travel points, I guess. What happens if I go here? I'm just thinking out loud. What happens if I go all the way over here, all the way and chillax? Oh, this is the city that I was in. So it's like logging each town you go to. I see what's going on now. Okay. I don't think I need any items because I like kicked everyone's ass so I can just kind of leave again. And that's what I'm going to do. So the blue points are towns you visited. And the red ones are story missions. Games like Valkyrie Elysium. They seem to make games like that, right? I don't know. Maybe? Okay, what I remember is they re-released the older Final Fantasies, the pixel remasters. Then they released this. Oh, what the fuck? I'm sure it's more that I missed out on. Then you had your PC releases of 7 Remake, and then it was Integrate, all that stuff. They sold off their Western division for fucking NFTs. Because I, I don't know, they're so smart. <laughs> but not really. Ooh, doggy, get stepped on. Wait, did they respawn the same enemies right there? I swear to... That's... What is this? Is that like a... <laughs> I don't know why there's like a point here and I can't do anything. I'm just gonna exit out the woods. See what happens. But I'm thinking if you come back to the town, you got to fight the same assholes all over again. Go. 
Yeah. I swear I killed these dudes. Oh, kill him again. Oh, the music is so good. I always like Final Fantasy battle music. It's just holes pounding, adventurous, and intense. This motherfucker, we got a magician back here. Oh my god! Okay, that was a little bit. He turned on the lightning. Okay, Zeus, we see what's up. Okay, how the hell do you get out of here now? Are we going back to the castle? Oh, I am avoiding whatever that is. Oh, there's something I want to talk about too. While I'm here. Are they following me? Yes, they are. Ah, oh, the great controversy of not a Final Fantasy game on Twitter about this. I don't... <laughs> How can I put this? I'm trying to put it in a very nice way. I just, I just think when it comes to the bird app, people are a bunch of mental midgets. That's the nicest way I can say it. Like, that's the that's the that's the nicest way. Because it's always some weird elitism philosophy that just needs to go away. It's like, look, this game says Final Fantasy in the title. It's a Final Fantasy fucking game. It's an RPG style game. It's not traditional as your ATB systems and whatnot. But I mean, this series has been evolving since X, which was literally like almost two decades ago. Come on, fam. You got to get with the times. If you want to evolve, you got to try new things. If you don't, you're going to get complacent. If you don't, you're going to get stale. Oh, it's, it's fair for people to say this game is like a character action game because it is. So you're, you're slashing, you're hack and slashing, but it's fun. And I think when people say it's not a Final Fantasy game, they try to use that to diminish the actual game, which is very disingenuous. It really is. Not sincere is not fair. Uh, let's see. Dude, I am so fucking lost. I'm gonna bust out this map real quick. Why is this mark? I think that's just my old marker. Ah, oh, I see. So I have to probably go all the way back to Lost Wing. I can fast travel, which is great. Let's see if I can do that elsewhere. Obelisk. Okay. Still trying to get the hang of this map. I think that's the beginning of the town. Let me see. Not really open world, but it's still big. That's the shop. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I have to. I have this village right here that I need to go to. Oh, that's a long way from home. People always complain about Final Fantasy. You know what? You're not wrong. Because when 7 Remake was changing the gameplay to be more action focused, I do remember there were people upset about that. And that's withstanding that it was partway Midgar and everything and 
they were making it into a multi-part and people couldn't read because they were comparing it to episodic and resident evil revelations 2 and i was just like it's not the same thing episodic is a game they release monthly weekly but it's on a set schedule a multi-part game is like a game that is too big for just fucking one disc which is why rebirth is coming to like two discs because if you play the original look if we're talking about high fidelity graphics and, and 60 fps which is what people are gonna want in a packed open world variant where final fantasy 7 just opens up to a lot of characters and more party members more attacks more moves I think it warrants this game being on two discs. I'm not gonna fight him this time. I'm just gonna run away. It seems you can still escape normally, which is good to know, but I'm sure they're right behind me. Yep, they are. <laughs> Chasing my ass down. There's no borders. Okay, I there is a valid escape option in here, which I was kind of wondering because in the old games, you can kind of run away if you aren't like pegged by 30,000 enemies. Well, it's, it's good to know you can escape if you want to. I like that. Cause I, I don't want to fight. I've been through here already twice. All right, I lost him. That is so cool. I'm glad that's in. People want an open world with 15 and people still complain. I am not surprised. People don't know what they want these days, man. People would rather have sex with a can before finally deciding they're satisfied on what they want. <laughs> God, uh, but it, it's the truth. It's sad, but it's true. Also, I do have to go through the castle. Okay. Well, you know, I'm curious. What is down here? Because I've never been down here before. More items, stuff to find. This game is big. Can't jump down there. Invisible wall. There's my phone again. There, there, there's the phone. Jump, Clive. God damn it. Hey, roll dudes. What's up? That's not what I wanted to do. Yo, Sid is broken as a party member. He just like does everything. Orgo is like eating his dick off right now. He's dead. All right, we're good. Now we can go inside the castle walls. Am I getting Armored Core 6? Probably. It's like now FromSolve does something to finally entice me. I am a giant Armored Core fan, so I might pick that up. But not for uh, launch, definitely, because I'm just going to be bombarded with games near the end of the year. There we go. Stinger! 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 Hey, you can just keep stunning him with that. Yo, can he do anything? Oh, he is blocking. Okay. And I break that guard like a madman. So they will guard. They're not fully dumb. Oh, this is it. Let's see here. We got the obelisk, so we can now teleport over here if we want. Which is good. Alright, I think that is this area explored. 
So we have to go the other way. That was a long trek to get somewhere, too. You just be running. Big ass fucking environment. Open world. Well, I, I guess why linear is the better word to use. This place is massive. Let's make this quick. What other games am I looking forward to besides Armor Core? Uh, Alan Wake 2, for sure. I need my survival horror, and I love the story of Alan Wake 1. Spider-Man 2. I played the first one on the channel. And I plan to do the same for, obviously, the sequel. Level up. Woo! Give me stronger equipment, please. Mortal Kombat 1. Because I played the alpha on the channel and I'm a huge Mortal Kombat freak. That's going to be amazing when I play it. I think for now, that's about it. I'm probably missing stuff. I do want to get the Metal Gear Solid Volume Master Collection, but that's going to have to wait a little bit. Okay, check that out. Can't go through there. I was just trying to figure out how I escape. Did I go all the way over there or not? Not sure. <sighs> Let's open the world map. Oh, simple as that. It took me a while to figure that out. I apologize for that. Here it is. Benedicta. Dick Rider. <laughs> Look at Dick Rider over here. She wanted to ride a man's dick earlier. I'm telling you, Benedicta's a goddamn freak, man. She got plowed by, like, someone that looked like a literal refrigerator. The Eastern Territories all but belong to the Orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart. Bro, what I tell you, Benedicta? Was she getting fucked over there? What the hell? Besides, They're naked. <laughs> they are literally naked. They had, they had Nookie. It happened. She's a freak. And the person she fucked in the beginning isn't even the same man. Oh, well, someone else has been asleep though, sleeping with like everybody across the land, spread out like a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> oh man, that guy looks like Clive a little bit. I was like, I don't know. She into like. His twin brother? Uh, what the hell is going on there? Well, this is definitely your mature Final Fantasy that shouldn't be viewed by people that are not of the age of mature 17. Why are they rebooting Mortal Kombat or why are they calling it Mortal Kombat 1? I, I don't know. Oh, we saw a side boot. My boob is having no. Do I have to get the hamburger out? Oh, they're 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 censoring it. They're they're doing it. I remember well the day you he pushed her off. He's like, I had enough. That's it. Your pale I had enough, and I can't stands no more. Never let go. That, that was I'm sorry if you ask me a question. This scene is just mad hilarious to me. I'm a fucking fool during a sex scene. He looks like Clive. What the? Okay. He's choking her now. She's like, okay, yes, daddy. Whose hand it is that keeps Why is he? <laughs> he slightly had one hand on the tit, like a stilted animation. Hey, yo. All right, there we go. Fade to black. I, I didn't have to put up the sensor burger. That's amazing, actually. Do I still have that? I think I have it. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. No, I don't. I don't have the. So I would have had to put the be right back screen if they show some full blown ass. 
<laughs> they went Game of Thrones with this. Yeah, I bet that's awkward being in the room. You're watching Game of Thrones with your roommate, and then all of a sudden, just a full blown sex scene right there, man. So you've come for me after all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely got to play the control DLC because, man, it's. I am aware of the story of the grand universe of Alan Wake, but I want to adjust it all again before I actually get into two. And it's a lot going on. It's it's a very in-depth, complex story with the dark place, Cauldron Lake. What's going on with Alan Wake? What's going on with Mr. Scratch? It's, a, it's so many moving parts. That's why I think Alan Wake 2 is going to be amazing. Because... It's it's a lot of interesting stuff going. What happened to Hartman and how he got like stretched out and turned into like a dark place killer? It's it's a lot that could be written with those books. It's infinite possibilities, and that makes Alan Wake's universe scary when you think about it. That's why they they had to set up a entire operation to stop the manuscripts from being written in, in in control that's how bad it is and if they pop up they have to go in there and try to clean it up because if someone keeps writing and making it worse it's going to be a big problem oh this is the uh iconic challenge stage that i play in a demo yeah any anything written by alan could have a huge impact on the world so they have a task force to stop that shit it's actually pretty scary when you think about it and he's losing his mind so he's not all there anymore and then stuff is being written and he's forgetting the second game is going to be incredible if they keep all this stuff it's gonna be it's gonna be so fucking good Because it's one of those plots where it's like, you don't even know what could happen at this rate. And I like that. I like unpredictability. It's great. That's why I'm so excited for it. And a lot of people seem to be as well. So I am riding that wagon. Yup. He is he's losing his mind. And I think that crazy factor is going to make the manuscripts even worse. Which is why you see a crazy monster lady in the trailer with like six arms. I'm like, what the fuck is that bitch? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Alan wrote her to be that way, which is why she looks terrible. The form is crazy. Look, I, I saw the potential news that Silent Hill is going to be Silent Hill 2 Remake is going to be possibly pushed into 2024. Alan Wake 2 is about to be my replacement. No lie. That's going to be my October game. I'm streaming that day zero. I've <laughs> been in the wagon since the preview. I've I've been in there since that very what is it I think Miss Mr. Keeley announced it at an award show last year I think it was Game Awards last year that's when I was I was automatically set I always found it interesting with the manuscript collectibles since they tell you everything is gonna happen before you get to the scene yeah that's how that guy in the beginning of what is it Stuckley or whatever. That he was going to attack Alan with an axe or somebody, and he actually did. So that's cool, and it, it seems like this game is going to also have that mechanic and more of a detective element to it. So you got to use your brain with the puzzles. I'm just loving everything I'm seeing with Alan Wake, too. I'm fanboying over that shit. Oh, shit. I got all these easy guards. If you did the Econic Challenge, then this stage is very familiar and simple. Where she's going to try to hurt my Torgal. And I'm going to I'm gonna beat that bitch. I'm going to beat her.
I'm at least gonna kill her before I end the live stream tonight. Hopefully they don't lock the collectibles to nightmare difficulty. I don't think they will. I, I think what they're gonna try to do is make the game as accessible as possible because one thing Sam Lake is saying is that the game is not gonna be so difficult to understand to where the story is gonna be hard for new timers to get into. They don't need to play Alan Wake 1 to get into it, but I still think it's gonna be complex. But I, I hope they don't just save all that other stuff. I, I don't mind. See, one thing I like with difficulty, I don't like when they lock story behind it. It was cool back in the day, but now it's like, eh. But uh, I, I prefer they just decide to keep the story as is and then remix the enemies like Devil May Cry does because that was one of my favorite games that did the difficulty right where they they're like oh what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an enemy from mid game show up in the beginning that's like oh shit so i'm fighting this like sub boss i'm not supposed to fight yet but he's at the beginning of the game so it makes you plan more that's that's the best way to handle uh difficulty in hard modes or stuff like that yep i will be i have control because ninja gave it to me i do have it and i've been looking forward to playing it i would suppose this is i guess this might be a dumb question but i don't think quantum break is in any way connected to control right or is it? I'm not sure. I, I never played Quantum Break. I can't say. Oh, this guy's just done. He's gonna stay down. Okay, bitch. Oh, what the fuck? He just blitzed through that? Bitten out the hot fire. Nope. This is the weird martial artist guy, too. I'll get him. Get him boy. Yeah, the dog, the sick of him, because he's just like, I forgot, like, if you don't have the ring on, he does nothing. <gasps> he smacked Torgal, what a bitch. Attack him. <laughs> so I'm just like, attack him, bite him. All right, now he's almost dead. I need more super moves. That's what I need. I think this is where you get limit break. And this is definitely where you get it in the demo. I'm not sure if they're going to move it or not. I hope they don't. These poor shots do not want to hit me. Because I'm going to need that real quick. Uh, she's I think I'm about to run into her run you bitch run well guarded attacking an opponent from the front while guarding will deal no damage I saw that earlier You're dead. Ooh. Oh, that cyclone is great. I never want it to leave ever. That's my main move. Ooh. Stay down. Love how he stomps on him. This uh, each kill animation is like kind of different. Oh, there you go, bitch. To space you go. Oh, no, we got your stupid doggies out here. Okay. I'll just be getting rid of them. Oh, 
Stinger, stinger, stinger. <laughs> you can't do shit, stinger. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's my phone again, no. Oh, Torgal just did like a combo on that guy, okay. It's us your bastards. Come on. Get caught in a circle. Oh, these dudes are like light. Probably because I'm like level 15, so I'm kind of higher ranked over them just a little bit. Ooh. about to level up again yeah uh once you i guess the cool part about this is you can carry over your demo progress so that's why i'm like level 15 already i think i was like level 10 when i first played it i forget but i'm kind of overpowered a little bit now And I know that's gonna change when I play more of this game and I fight like level 30s. I just I just have a strong sneaking suspicion. Like, oh, you thought you were stronger than me? Think again. Think again and suck this cock. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Where the hell is the exit? I know. I know it was somewhere. There's a destroy. Goddamn. Okay. Nothing there. Wait, do we go through here? Fuck no. Oh, wait. Go. Oh. Open the door, asshole. Come on. I think we go upstairs and then yeah, blast through through the chapel. Oh no, I remember this part. I remember. I'm skipping this and I have a boss fight. Oh, something's on my leg. Well, Sid. Oh, it's my cat. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I felt like something's on my leg. What the fuck is that? Yep. Two sub bosses. He fought them before. And they are under level compared to me. Well, that's good, I guess. Huh? What's this? <gasps> oh, fuck! Oh, I forgot about that. Goodbye, baby. Oh. I like Clive. He's so badass, man. Hey, can I hit the other one? Sure. Oh. Oh, fucking forest. I think the pink one's gonna die first. If I don't die first. Oh. No, bitch, I played Devil May Cry way too much. No, thank you. Ow. say well this game's a little bit more simplified in dmc because dmc like you're doing pause combos and this one you got your simple button tabs but that could improve over time i remember like bayonetta and dmc they started the character action difficulty right off the rip 
It's like learn or die. This game doesn't feel like that. It's more like uh, be stylish, have fun with it. I can't say I'm struggling too much. Oh, that could change. Oh, I did that twice. Okay. That was that. Oh, that one is history. She doesn't look happy, Toggle. Come on. Whoa! Hold up. Uh. That's different. Uh, jeez. So one dies, that one gets a little bit stronger, I guess. Ow. Ow. You fucking bitch. No, you fucking bitch! Torgo, no. get in there. Look at us. Slowing down time like Bayonetta. Oh, she's mad. Oh, she's mad. Cole's mad. I'll stand right here. <laughs> Nothing hits me. I'll just stand right there. <laughs> Before getting waffled. Okay. I think that healing crest I have on is really saving my ass. I might take that off. Cause look how much my health comes back. I think that is the problem. So let me see. Uh, no, no, no gaming journalist items. None. How do you take that off? I was just experimenting. I think. Oh no. Automatically use a potion. No, I think everything is normal. From what I can tell. Okay. I was just making sure. I didn't want to be like Polygon. <laughs> oh, there. Do that again. Hogan handle. Wait. That's another dodge. So if you do it like maybe twice, you get the active time sort of slowdown. I won't do it again because I know I'm gonna get hit. I'm just waiting for it. Hold on. Done. She's done. They're slain. Oh, what I get for that? I got a sharp. I just got a lot of crafting material. Nothing really big. I'll take it. Ah. Uh. What is this? Ah, uh, Mortal Kombat. Sid, are you all right? I can't wait for Mortal Kombat 1. Do I look all right? Can't wait. And damn. I forgot he's sick. Yeah, we well, we saw this before, so. We're gonna skip. It was in the demo. Like he's sick and dying and it, oh yeah in the cussing he also got smacked by the two winged beast walking around. Nothing up here, nothing up here. Wait, we gotta open the back rooms. 
Can you give me a non-spoiler premise of the Alan Wake and Control universe? Ooh, that's that's kind of hard. Uh, non-spoilers. Basically, okay. Start off with the Alan Wake stuff first, because I mean that's the stuff first. Alan Wake is a writer, and he is. You know, writing a couple of stories and they're starting to become reality. Then and then in control shit starts to become more messed up due to Alan having those supernatural pages cropping up all over the place. And there's an organization made to stop that from happening and triggering. That's the most non-spoiler route I could do. If I say anything else, it would be spoiling the whole story. So I have to sort of... <laughs> that's the best it's going to get. As, as vague as possible. And that's not even scratching the surface at all. Yup, that's very vague. But that's the only way to answer his question. Is to keep it as vague as possible. I would say play them because they go more into depth with the organizations and what sort of occurs with Alan in the first game before the ending happens and he's things are just totally different for him in the sequel. And that's all I can say. But I'm, I'm telling you, man, if if you remedy is so good at their craft. 100% play them. You will not be disappointed. It has good gameplay. And and the second one is shifting to survival horror. Which I'm sure the gameplay will accommodate that. And be just as good. And crazy. It's, it's one of my most anticipated games of the year. By far. Along with Spider-Man 2. You, if you are a horror fan. And you love deep stories. It would be a disservice to... Not nah, check out Alan Wake. And and control. Hey, we got one on board. You know what? I'm happy about that. <laughs> any any yeah, the remastered one is for PS5 and I think series. Also last gen, I think, as well, because I, I, I think when I got that game, I got it on PS4. Oh, it's gonna be on PS Plus, so that's even more incentive. Yep, I just remembered that. So you can get Alan Wake for free if you have PS Plus. Oh, these dogs want me to... That was actually pretty beneficial to me right there. Getting that Cyclone out. Get him, Torgal! I love this dog. I'm just constantly stabbing his crotch. Like, no, don't kill me. Don't kill me, little puppy. <laughs> so it's like... Alright, that's all blocked off. So yeah, it's 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 a good time to be a fan of Remedy. Oh man, I can't another one I can't wait for is Max Payne remake. That's gonna blow my socks off. Be shooting people in slow motion. That's gonna be also great. That's a high full of idiots. Hello. Oh, that's a new animation. I've never seen that one before. Hello. I will at least kill Benedicta. Her ass can go. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, is she gonna die faster or it's gonna be the same? Probably gonna be the same. But just letting people know, uh, Final Fantasy streams, I'm gonna be doing them in burst. And probably like last time where I did remake, I didn't play it all the way through, just enough to give like first impressions of what I'm doing. But I'm definitely gonna do more than one for 16. So it's gonna kind of be like a one-off 
which I think is the best solution because I know this game is gonna be like probably 30 hours or something for me oh yeah absolutely like Remedy's been my favorite since Max Payne 1 and ever since then ever since then um I I've been hooked on their titles I leveled up again okay wait that's level 16 I'm ready for this boss. It's over. And then I remember like that first trailer for Alan Wake 1 came out. I'm like, this is kind of interesting. This dude just being stuck in this place and and writing and all the stuff that he wrote is coming to life. Played that game, loved it. I think I have the original on PC, and then I got remastered later on. I was like, fuck it, why not? I'm gonna get remastered too with all the DLC. I remember getting what, American Nightmare before it got delisted on Steam. I was happy as fuck. That's always this Royal Knight. You can just do that, okay. Ooh, get Perry. Get Perry. Get, get fucked. Get set on fire, sir. Oh, I love the combat in this game. Just engaging, man. It's, it's so good. Nope. Oh, I could have probably dodged that, but I didn't. I could have dodged, but I didn't. Or can you dodge the fire? I have no idea. Where I press the button? His slashes are easier? Oh! I've never played Quantum Break, but I swear, thanks to, thanks to a friend. Oh, it's using, it is using the auto potion, so that's why I heal. I still might cut that off, though. It's like I kind of want to be in control. So I don't I don't think I want that on. But I, I have Quantum Break on PC, and I will be getting into that. I heard the gunplay is fine. I don't doubt it. Also, they got like a fam they got like a ton of famous actors in Quantum Break. Like before he passed, I, I people said Lance Reddick was in, and that guy Sean Sizemore. I seen him. I swear he was. He's an X Men as Iceman. So I yeah I definitely seen that dude before. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Yep. Yep. I remember. I remember now. Uh, so in, in the original Quantum Break trailer, they didn't even have uh, those actors in. It wasn't until like last minute they decided, hey, let's just get some Hollywood faces in here. And yeah, the, the voice acting sounds pretty decent. It's fine. I, I remember watching the TV show with my friends or whatever, because they got like a live action uh, portion of the cutscenes in there. We watched like all of them. And it's pretty fun. Scarlet Cyclone damage to eight. You think Konami will remake all of the Silent Hills? It depends on how well two does. I I don't wanna I don't wanna say I'm a lost profit or whatever because that's 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 not what I'm saying. But it is all all of it's gonna depend on how well two is. If two sucks, I don't I don't think they're gonna try to do anything with it for a while. If it's good, then I think what they're gonna do is they could remake Silent Hill 2 because they're doing that now. That's that's the popular one. 
and they could possibly remake one? Because people are saying like, oh, they're going to remake Silent Hill 3 next. No, 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 I'm sorry, no. They should not remake Silent Hill 3 right now. I think Silent Hill 3 should wait until they do one, because if they do one, one sets up for two. You see, the, the thing with that logic is Silent Hill 1 is directly story related and tied into three silent hill 2 is not it's it's weird dude it's like silent hill 2 is like the one that's like oh we're gonna be standalone from everything else so that's why it's easier to adapt that story because it's not connected to silent hill 1 or silent hill 3 to understand silent hill 3 you need silent hill 1 Otherwise, you're going to be lost. Like, well, what the fuck happened? Like, there's a major character death where you need the first game to understand it. It's it's that bad. When I saw that, I'm like, wait, I'm very glad I played this in order because if I did not, I wouldn't have understand. I wouldn't have understood what was going on. I'd be like, well, wait, who is that? Who is that person right there? I'm not trying to spoil it, but I'm like, who is that person? I was like, oh, now I know, so I'm glad I played it. So you got to play one and three in order. It's the only way. You have to do it. And it's the same thing if they remade it. The first one has to be first. The third one has to be later. Silent Hill 4 is the same case as Silent Hill 2? Well, no, not really. I take that back. Silent Hill 4 is loosely tied to Silent Hill 2. So you don't need Silent Hill 2 to understand it, but if you read the notes, the villain of Silent Hill 4 is referenced in Silent Hill 2. So it has some type of direct tie to that game, but it's not as big as 1 to 3. And then after that, none of the other Silent Hill games really matter in terms of storyline because it was done by the Western studios and it wasn't as good as the first four. That's what I heard. And I, I well, I kind of agree. They tried, but it, it was just a cheap imitation. If that makes sense. It's like someone trying to be Silent Hill, but they're really not. I dodged that immediately. Oh, I didn't dodge that. There it is, Benedicta. The dick fiend. <laughs> 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 Alright, she got to go. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I definitely couldn't do that in a demo. Oh, look at the damage being shaved off. Silent Hill 2 is the best one. Do I agree with that? Hmm. Storyline wise, yes. Gameplay wise, no. I'm sorry. I think I think yeah, I think that's valid for me uh, Storyline wise Silent Hill 2 is the best one Undoubtedly that plot is riveting thrilling. I can't wait for people to play it But The OG one we're talking about just OG only the gameplay is lacking. It's The monster variety 2 is also lacking it's a great game story-wise, but gameplay-wise, it is not. I prefer the first game. No, 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 no. Scratch that. I prefer the third game when it comes to gameplay because it feels like the one that really mastered what was going on with Silent Hill 1 and 2. It's, it's the most fun to play. But 1 is no slouch. It's, it's still good gameplay-wise. It's still better than 2. And that's what I think about it. Hey, how's it going, Kataro? 
Oh, welcome to the madhouse. It's, uh, Benedicta is almost dead. Oh my god. Ugh. Fucking hell. She's... Whoa! Okay, she's... Ow! Ah! Ah! He was, uh, sort of... Doing a little bit of dominatrix on me. I'm fine. <laughs> Just whipping my ass a bit. I'm fine. Oh, here we go with the second phase. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, check it out. She has wings. What the hell? She's a bird now? Bro. Oh, God. Thank you. We'll be getting out of the way of that. She was definitely trying to be Dommy Mommy. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I remember being mad about this. Though I still am. Oh, there's my party member. He's a dominant. Now you're on your own. I don't even remember her pattern. Oh. I think so. Eh? Ow! I don't remember all that. <laughs> Ooh. I'm trying to not die. Aerial slash. No. Oh, I like that you can see her uh, attacks on on the top when she uses them for magic. Never paid attention to that before, but well, come on, bird lady. Oh, that has splash damage. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I pressed dodge. Get the fuck out of here. And because she hurt my dog, he can't heal me. Arrow rain? Hello! Oh god! Oh shit, no! He's doing like 80 moves, ladies and gentlemen. I'm <laughs> trying to keep track of everything going on. She's about to get staggered though, so I'm, I'll be fine with that. It's... Do it again. Was mine. Oh, they definitely gave her more health because why not? Really, bitch? I'm about to make her eat like a beehive or something. That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> Cinematic. Big time event, I know it's coming. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, get out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way.
Power of the Phoenix, let's go. She got staggered again? Oh, yes she did. Yes, she did. Dude, I, I love uh, Evil Within. I, I think Evil Within, well, it's kind of hard because I like the first game, but I can admit it's a bit rough. It is. Evil Within 2 is amazing. What's my favorite Resident Evil game? Ooh, that's a hard question. Honestly, I'll give you top three. RE2 Remake. Do, 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 do. Original RE4. That's not to say I don't like the remake, but original RE4 blew my mind back in the day. And uh, RE1 remake. Those are really fantastic games, in my opinion. Nope. <laughs> like I'm back here chilling. She's getting sniped. Meteor. And somehow I got out of the way of that. I think. Can't tell. She was almost staggered when I did that though. And then it's like, well, you get your shit back fine. Ooh. You got more health than me. Not good. Not good. What do you mean Evil Within is rough gameplay wise? Okay, here's my issue with the first one. There's enemies with guns. <laughs> and it's really terrible, it's bad. Uh like not not bad as in the whole game is shit. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's bad as in enemies with guns don't make survival horror games scary. Uh, hey, Professor Forsyth97, welcome to the madhouse over here. I'm getting some subs today. Hopefully you guys enjoy all the fun. But I'm not saying Evil Within 1 is bad gameplay-wise, but because of the enemies with guns, it makes that game very hard, as well as the fact that I don't like the 4x3 screen where you can barely see the ground due to the black bars so there's traps on the ground you will step on them <laughs> as black bars it makes it worse and then there's one hit kill bosses so it's rough in a sense of there's a lot of artificial nonsense with the game uh but once you bypass that it is a good game just they took all those mistakes with the second one and fixed them so Evil Within 1 is a good 7 out of 10. Evil Within 2 is a good 8 out of 10. That's how I feel. And my Torgal just completely threw her like a pile of tossed beans. That's... <laughs> I'm having the time of my life just beating her ass. My boy is back. Oh! Oh my god! Too many explosions. Stop! Jesus Christ. I forgot about this move. Oh, I dodged both those. I didn't dodge that though. Hey, OP boy. Horrible. She might actually, she feels a little bit harder in this one compared to the demo. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Just a little bit. But I, I still have more options a little bit than last time. Ooh, hold on. Do you think From Software will ever release Kuon digitally? Uh, probably not. 
because uh, most developers that had stuff in the PS2 era is undistracted. Lost the code, so it's probably not happening. Especially for that game, that's a bit of a more obscure game too. Oh please baby, don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. No more. Oh, fuck! I can never dodge that dude. That hand. I can never dodge it. He always gets me one way or the other. He did take that hit. I saw it. Horrible! Get her off me! Get her off me, Torgo! <laughs> My last potion, that's it. <laughs> Tiger boy. I actually enjoyed the first army or two. I would love to see like another one. It's, uh, EA. EA. <laughs> I hate EA sometimes, man. Because I know they're not going to bring it back. It's like for me golf clapping for dead space remake i know they're gonna be like army of who what was that <laughs> i didn't quite catch that <laughs> what was that noise <laughs> I, know, I know they're thinking that right now all right benedicta dick muncher is history i don't have to deal with her no more for now the will of fire rising flames that was uh it's a new move oh no it gives rising flames like more damage which i will i'll take that i'm happy with that that's true i agree that could be an ea original and and people would say oh army of two i remember that game that's that game where i could like shoot people out of their sandals right How did you do it? i'd be like and it's i i like the trash talk between Rios and the other character, I forget his name. Uh, all, all the quote, like, I used to say, he used to say, like, oh, I'm a one man killing machine. That shit was hype. That game was fun. I loved Army of Two. Just, we need more co op games anyway, like that. So I don't, I don't mind that at all. I'm gonna suck the soul right out again, like Shang Tsung. Your soul is mine. You like Haunting Ground, Clock Tower 3, Remother 1 and 2. I played Haunting Ground before. I did say I enjoyed it. It's like... Yes. Basically... Haunting Ground is like a very, very, very sexually fucked up clock tower that's what it is to me like it's it's a lot of it's it's very unsettling to where i don't i don't think i don't think that game is going to have a comeback because of the intense sexual nature and, and how it treats the female character if the pursuers get their hands on her and there's one dude trying to have a baby with her. That game is fucked up. I'm sorry. And one of the death scenes is not a death scene. And I'll leave that to your interpretation. Because when I heard that, I was like, oh, is he doing what I think he's doing? Yes, he is. He is doing to her what I think he's doing. That game is completely fucked up. <laughs> So Capcom is going to leave that one in the vault. <laughs> the only way you'll play that is through emulator. Uh, and then Clock Tower 3 I did play. I like that too, but the only thing I didn't like is 
when I don't know, it just felt like when you got spotted in that game, you couldn't do shit. You couldn't do shit to get away because and then when she runs too fast, when she's like on high alert and your your little psycho meter goes down even more. Yeah, there's some rapey vibes to that game for Haunting Ground, which is why I don't think it's gonna be remastered. At all. But <laughs> I don't think it's happening. But like I said, generally speaking, I enjoy Clock Tower 3 and Haunting Ground and I do want to play them someday for the channel so people can see how zany Capcom got in the past. I hope the bear has found a way out. I just like Sid's voice a lot. I kind of want to see this end segment. He's just blaming me for it. I never played Rule of Rose, so I have no opinion on it. All I heard was, I got a trophy. With great power comes great responsibility and great burning. Because that guy is charbroiled like a piece of barbecue. Who was this? I bet that's his brother that died. In the beginning, uh, I bet, because they're high in his face. I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. Your Grace, that's him. escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. Because why is the dude burning? He has like Phoenix powers. That's him. So I guess Clive will probably have to fight him later in the story. I don't know, but I bet that's him. It's not even making it conspicuous either. But yeah, I, I never played Rule of Rose, so I can't say. I knew it. I knew it was him. I, I just, it just, it just is written all over his face. Because you think he dies in the beginning, then he doesn't. I like this game so far. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's entertaining. I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with all the people saying, oh, this was not a Final Fantasy game. It was, it's reason. I, I think. Mm. I think nowadays people try to find the stupidest reasons not to uh, simply enjoy a game because I have no fucking idea what that opinion means when someone says oh it's, it's not a part of the franchise so therefore I can just skip it no problem and it's like and if it's experimental, that's like people saying, oh, Resident Evil 7 is not a Resident Evil game. What are you talking about? It has survival horror elements. It has fun gameplay. It's a fun game. You're, you're fighting to survive. Like, they have puzzles. They have callbacks. What's not Resident Evil about it? The fact that it's first person? What the what fuck are you? Eh. Okay. I was just like, all right, you, you got it, bro. You're a dumbass. You got it. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like that. I'm like, yeah. Sometimes you got to be like that. I can see if it's something that completely just does not resemble. Oh, I got a new Econic spell. Yes, because I absorbed um, the Dominant from... What's her face? Benedicta. With that being said, it's, it's just like... I can see if it was a game that just didn't resemble the class... Like Umbrella Core. That's... You can easily say that's not a Resident Evil game. Because what the... It's multiplayer... Third person... You're running around like jackasses and... There's no horror at all. It's not even tension like the action games. It's just borderline. Let's make a third person Call of Duty. That's all that game is. I can see someone saying, oh, that's not a Resident Evil game, but RE7? Hell no. I don't fucking see it. And it's all because the camera changed. 
So yeah, I think people just say the wildest shit because the franchise changes, even if they keep their core elements maintained. Like Final Fantasy Remake, there's no for seven. There's no reason people shouldn't be calling that a Final Fantasy game either, because once again, they have the elements of the classics: ATB, slow down time, take your move sets, and everything. Elemental damage, all all that RPG stats. All that fun stuff that you've noticed in the past is still kind of there. So, once you get, like, distinctive on on that logic, it's like night and day. People don't know what they're talking about. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I got combos! And I can switch anytime I want, right? Yes, I can. Okay, the combo potential has opened up. Playing this big ass dragon, and. Garuda, okay. Oh, I can't escape this place because of the invisible wall. Get slash! I love this thing. This bird claw thing. It's awesome. Ooh! I can just keep doing that. Fuck off. You definitely got tying that a little bit though. Otherwise, you're just wasting stat. How many of these things I can hold? I'm gonna become a devil, man. Sniper shot, come on. Trying to get around the stupid dragon. And he's stunned. You're getting this work, sir. Hmm. This is not fair. <laughs> he's almost dead. Get him, Torgal. Hold on, never mind. Now. Ow, what the? F <sighs> Death? I I love this thing so much. <laughs> I love these claws. This is claws. This is cool. This is cool. I like this. I might play a little more. A little bit more. I was like, oh, one more. One, two hours. No, one more. I need to experiment with these things. I think people didn't like 7. Wasn't Resident Evil because they started... To bring up the black goop bioweapon instead of T virus and G virus. Well, I mean, Resident Evil, like when you progress in the when you progress in the series story wise, they mostly have a new virus like each game. So that's weird. Like RE1 had T virus, RE2 had T virus and G virus. RE3 had the Nemesis Parasite and the T-Virus. Uh, Co-Veronica had T-Virus and the T-Veronica virus. RE4 had the Plaga. RE5 had the enhanced version of that, which was the Magini enhanced Los Plagas and Uruburos. RE6 had the C-Virus, 7 had the Mold, so in each 
forward momentum game they all had the same virus and then a new one or they had a new virus completely so i'm not sure why people were kind of like oh it doesn't have the t-virus anymore i mean you could just simply say it doesn't have zombies and and that's what you want back which i i like zombies i'm a big zombie fan but i i like seeing something freaky and weird and if it takes another mutation to make that then so be it because as much as i like zombies they can get old as an enemy in a survival horror game i want to see fucked up mutants man i want to see people with like split heads and shit baby parasites popping all over the place i want to see something crazy when when re2 had that i was like oh my god this is insane I was like, parasites just splitting out of people's bodies, like the thing. That was crazy, and and that was different. It wasn't just your casual routine zombie. Ooh, oh, he is. Hello, Tomahawk, Chief Thunder. He is definitely dead. Lag on the play. He's dead too. I love it. Benedicta is finally getting her due diligence here. Hello, I'm just hunting. Hello. What do we have here? <laughs> what do we have here? That's a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't appraise <laughs> her. Oh, now she's just pathetic. <laughs> kind of sad. Oh, I guess this is her family. Hey, Sid. It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Oh no, just routine soldiers. It's kind of cool that they're giving her a backstory. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I gone and pissed her off, man. Not good. Thought I sucked her soul out. What the? This is like her final transformation? What the fuck? Well, I guess that didn't matter then. <laughs> oh, 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 no, it didn't. I thought I sucked her powers away. Oh, this true form emerged. By the flames, we have a problem here. Live, you should have killed her. Oh, I'm just saying, man. Well, no shit. Finally, about time. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. Oh, I should have gone with you. Oh, let me kill her this time. Oh, we go straight into the danger. You understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedict's rage knows no bounds. 
Thank God it's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. I vote they should have killed her. Or maybe they just didn't like Ethan Winters. I mean, Ethan's fine in uh, Village, but I mean, I, I guess. Uh, hello. You guys saw that, right? You guys see that? It's the bird enemy. They're all over the place. Okay, uh, so he's fine in village, but seven, I can see he's quiet. Your typical everyman, but that's the way it was designed. Cause RE6 gave us like Chris, Leon, Ada, all those people, Cherry. And people were like, oh, RE6 is not the way I wanted this series to go. <laughs> so they hit the soft reboot button. And I understand why. I, I get it. But at least we got Chris and not a hero DLC. I just ran past them, by the way. I, I didn't even fight them. I was like, you know what? It's a it's a clear path in the middle. Let me run right through that. Oh, no, no. So I will not be going over there. Not yet. Uh, I'm going to the hideaway first. Because I need like maybe a couple of potions before I even remotely think about entering that vortex. What's this? Oh, this is the training arcade mode. Uh, replay any previous player stage and be awarded a score based on performance. Oh, so that's like a new mode entirely, right? We got another mode down here, which might be Final Fantasy mode. Okay, so I like that. Adding in some variety. Uh, I need to come over here. Who are you, buddy? Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. If I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. Couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Oh, God. Fine. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway folk. Makes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. Uh, why are you half naked? It certainly looks like you're your hands <laughs> but, uh, uh, you can say that again. The workers ain't got no shirts. I was like, well, we'll just bask in the glory of the leaves. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. The White Ants. I really appreciate the help. Oh, right. Funny, I got this like tornado sucking up the world, and I'm worried about the side quest. I gotta speak to this carpenter. I he's near, just. So I'll do the side mission, then I'll put a sword and Benedictus titties, and I'll be good to go. Move all the way, come on. So you think we should go and help? Don't think I have Ah, a new face, and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress. Oh, <laughs> the fat chocobo. On her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box. And I remember fighting that when I was playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Help keep the fat chocobo running. What was the name of the shop? 
I don't see, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you Looks like a pile of beef stew. What the hell is this? What the hell? With some marshmallows in it. Okay. Hot meal. How long has it been? Hot meal. How long has it been? Yeah, sir. These people. Oh man. Okay. Fine. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already. I expect the old rascal. Well, that's one. He did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> And so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Yeah, soup is actually fire, though. I will, I will eat that any day, and it makes me feel better. Fire. One more bowl up here. Who's the first unlucky customer? Got yeah, reading a Bible. My God, he about to kill somebody with that thing. So much more to find than just like John Wick and John Wick Three with the book. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, then. See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. Put that shit away. <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> okay. And the last guy over here it looks like a Sound table a three. You do not think me lazy for waiting to I hope you don't think I'm all this fucking my hip and sciatica is aligned in the opposite direction. Of <laughs> the opposite direction. That sink took me in nonetheless. The hideaway is the home I never knew. Steroids made my dick do what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh boy, we got a lot of side missions going on. Uh, I guess I can speak to Kenneth real quick. All done, I presume. Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strong... Oh, he's going to give me the chest. Depends on what's in it. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? And the quest is complete. Oh, let's see. Shoot. I got the badge of metal. I'm trying to figure out what that is, though. Oh, look closer. That's my super move. Badge here. It increases your defense by 10.
Is this the renegade who has it made? Well, nice rhyme, buddy. <laughs> okay. And increases the healing potency of potions by 10%. Okay, um, I guess just to have better defense. That's a little bit more important. I think that's a speak with the carpenter at the white Odyssey. Odyssey. Excuse me. Let's sit here playing some Final Fantasy 16 as dude. I don't know why I chose to play Callisto over this game and do a little bit of the DLC. I guess I was curious. And then I was like, since I had all those bugs. Trying to play Final Fantasy 16, that's kind of how I felt. Oh my god, I actually do have to collect the planes. Oh, this sucks. Here we are. We better get this to Jeffrey, was it? Clive doesn't even know this man's name. No, uh, I don't. I didn't like the concept of Death Stranding. Like, I remember hating it because I was just like, I don't. I thought Kojima was gonna make this like super interesting game, and I'm pretty sure it is interesting. And then I found out that you're just delivering packages across the land, and it didn't appeal to me. I, I'm gonna be honest. As much as I hate saying this, I'm one of those shooty shooty bang bang punch punch kick kick guys for gaming like i i i want my dumb fun immediately now i know some games they take a while to settle in it does make me sound like a little bit of a hypocrite because i've played red dead redemption 2 that game is a little bit slow in the beginning because of the snow that being said, I'm, 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 one of, I'm one of those guys where I'm like, I need some form of action going on within the first two hours. If that ain't happening, it's going to require a lot of patience for me to really love the game a lot. It has to be something really special because if the game is super slow and I'm not beating the crap out of somebody or doing something, then it's it's not gonna resonate or click. So it's it's one it's one of those situations with Death Stranding. It's I'm sure it's interesting, but that concept did not switch on for me. I was not enticed by delivering packages and the game not picking up to like hours i'm talking hours in from what people say they say it's a real slow game so i i couldn't do it i could not do it no sir i guess before i go over here okay i did what i needed to do I'm going to go to this vortex real quick and then I'm going to shop around and try to upgrade and see what I could do before I fight the lady. And oh, there is stuff everywhere over here. So I think that would be a bad idea. Well, we're going back to the shop. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. We're going back to the homeland. My phone internet isn't liking the stream, so I might be spotty with chatting. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, Dimension Satire. Just, you know, as long as you come by, enjoy it, have fun. That's all I ask of my viewers. I don't I don't ask for much when it comes to people. So if it sucks, uh, I, I, I do also have this core stuff for people, which I should post right now. So... If they want to get in on the conversation later because everybody was talking about that uh, Xbox deal with the FTC, then, you know, 
jump in on that or RPG stuff or Resident Evil. I got two servers, so I will post that for people who are interested. I'll post that here. And all the details are in the link about my two servers. I also, I, I need to get some potions. I'm, I'm fucked if I don't. I think this is it. Okay. I, I, no, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I just need stuff. Thank you. Thank you. That's a better sword and I can buy it. Hello. We're totally buying that. I told you, like, RPG games, I just get the best equipment and go with it. it better all be here. I'm equipping that. Steel crowns, I'm equipping that. And then I need, like... Give me all of those. <laughs> Is Callisto Protocol any good? So, uh, this is one of those games where I'm like, form your own opinion. But I enjoyed the game for the most part. A lot of people hate it. I would say just form your own opinion from there. I, I don't... A lot of people just, just like going off the rails, man. I'm just like, hey, I... Uh, all that matters to me, I'm pretty self-serving, so what I say is either I like it or I don't. And that was one of the games I liked. And I didn't jump on the hate bandwagon about it. And that was it. <laughs> Come again. Or don't. People be getting mad too, and I'd be saying that. I'm like, look, I don't They be getting mad too. It's like, look, I don't, I don't play games for, for you. I play games for me. They be getting Yes, but it's it's true. It's true. If I like something, I get it. If I if I don't want to support something, I don't buy it, and that's how it's always went. It's it's always went like that. I ne I never I never buckled to someone say, "Oh, you shouldn't buy that game. That game trash." You shouldn't like it. I'm like, all right, buddy, whatever. It's up to me to decide what I like and what I don't like. And, and that's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. The man who killed my brother. Oh, that's not the man who killed your brother. That is your brother. I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Oh, that, that is him. I was like, get the fuck out of the way, you idiot. Well, looks like I'm on my own. No party. But I, I like Callisto for what it was. The DLC is spotty, though. Final transmission, I'm not liking that much. I feel like it's... They take some... They have some neat ideas... And then some other ideas are worse. Like just dropping you in a room with like 12 enemies and saying, hey, deal with it. I'm like, what the f This is bad game design 101. And then there's other ideas where it's like a one hit kill area and you're dealing with those enemies. Oh my God, she's huge, dude. Holy fuck, she's big. Yes, Callisto was, well, it was made by one of the chief creators of Death Space, Glenn Schofield. But now Death Space is headed by EA Motive. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do next with Iron Man. I'm, I'm very interested. She's a big bitch. Oh, she's a big bitch. She's big. 
She got feet the size of pontoons. <laughs> She's huge. Oh, and the wind is not helping. Oh my god. I found you. You're going down, you random Kingdom Hearts villain. You called me. Why? Turn around, brother. Take the hood off, Joshua. I know it's you. Oh, I guess he's not doing that yet. They're remaking Death Space 2, right? First should have been a success. The game was so good. I don't know. I can't tell you. Uh, the only thing I can say is that they... EA Motive was in an interview and they sort of tease oh we can't talk about that yet otherwise EA will kill us that's the only thing we know is that they gave us a small subtle hint but for now the game they're making is Iron Man so I, I don't think we're gonna see a Death Space 2 remake until maybe like 2025 2025 2026 it shouldn't take no more than a year really or two Garuda huge oh she did a jump kick on me oh oh my fucking god Remember, these boss fights overheat your PS5 for some reason. Oh! I could do a takedown. Oh god. Gotta keep that in mind. Because she's so big, her hitbox is out of this world. Fuck you! Oh. I got the bird cheeks in the building. <laughs> okay, bird brain. Right. Oh, I took like a lot of health though. This is not good. Aerial blast. That ain't good, chief. Oh! This is a very tiny ass platform. Far away! Hit them cheeks. Do you like the remother games? I I don't know if I answered this earlier, but I never played them, so I can't tell you. I guess maybe that's something to put on my to-do list. But I, I already know the next game I'm probably gonna play is either this on stream or Resident Evil 2 Randomizer. Because I recently got that on PC. That's a nice little gift, and I wasn't it. Because the Steam Summer Cell is hot right now. No, don't do that kick again. You fucking whore. Tell us. No, stop doing that. 
What did I just tell you? Yeah, baby. Mmm. Well, you're mine. You get back down here. Oh! Holy God! That is a lot of particle effects on the screen. It's kind of hard to keep track of everything. This is an epic fight, though. Oh God! This feels like... No, not OG RE2, uh, RE2 Remake randomized. This feels like something straight out of God of War 3. I don't know why, but it gives me that same sense of scale. How high can we go? Oh. Oh, fuck, she got me. That's a lot of juggling. A high potion it is. I'm healing on my white health because I don't know if it's going to come back or not. We'll just see. Oh. oh. Here we go. I'll give you a little something to think about. Oh, right in the back of the neck. Well, right in the back instead. Okay, take one more. Like Shadow of the Colossus. Except no glowy runes. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's get this up out of here. Slice off that finger. Slice that off too. Good God. Mmm. <laughs> yes. That's so awesome. Stab right in the eyeball. Right in the fucking eyeball, man. That's that's disgusting. I love it. I level up too. Sharp fang. That's what I got. Pull that right back out, baby. You're beautiful, no you're not. Clive is a badass, I like this character. I really do. I knew she wasn't it. I was waiting for it too. summon is here I am the devil himself look at me it's my turn now I am officially a god Don't worry, buddy. Everything's fine. I'll take care of it. Okay, I need to be able to use this thing whenever I want, and I will have no if ands, or buts about it. <laughs> no if ands, or buts. None. Zero. Nada. Look at this. 
Kaiju battle time. Oh, it's time for the iconic battle of the century. Okay. I can evade. I can do a melee attack. I think I got the basics out here. Oh. This is gonna make my PS5 explode. Oh! Oh! Oh god, fireball, please. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> that did like a lot. That was cool. Cinematic punch! There we go. I'll be getting out of the way of that. Oh shit, that was amazing! <laughs> that's two fireballs just like cancel each other out. What are we playing? Street Fighter? The Kaiju Edition? Oh shit, ah! This is awesome. Oh my fucking god, she's fucking me up too. Hard to close the gap on her because she can just do stuff. Try to get me. Ground it. If I can get close, I'll be good. Oh no, this is bad. Ooh. Mm, let me crush that real quick. Ooh, yes. Aerial blast. I guess it behooves me not to stand in it. My Godzilla dick. You missed! You missed again! Now I'll take that damage, come on. Oh, combo. Wah. Go right in space, Missy. Alright, I have the health lead now. Another damn tornado. Keep strafing, that's the strategy. Oh! One. Two. That hit me. Ugh. She's taking me for a ride, huh? <laughs> Ifrit is so clumsy, man, I swear. This is definitely where all the money went. <laughs> oh, this amazing kaiju battle. Take all that. Mm. Another claw strike here. A 
tail whip at that. There we go. Oh no, my fucking arm! No! Am I dead? This is pretty much seems like she is ending my life right now. Oh, there we, we go on that back. There it is. It's like a little form form baby arm just coming back. Dude, the special effects are incredible. Mm. Let me just rip off her leg. There we go, just get a little punch action in. It's over now. It's a wrap. Oh, get back down here, bitch. Come on. Come on. Let me beat that ass. Let me beat that ass some more. Ugh. Well, she shot half my, like, spine out. <laughs> The never ending struggle of the two kaiju monsters fighting. Choke her out! Just burn her to death. Ooh. Oh, this motherfucker fighting back so hard! I'm here! There we go. Hellfire. Oh, she's gonna get burnt. Torched. That was definitely over now. And please go back to hell where you came from. I leveled up again. Oh, level 18. I got more XP. HP, attack, defense, stagger. All that good jazz, okay. The wind shard. Is that the craft something? Okay. And this is like Dragon Ball where they nuke the planet like every five seconds. What's this? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's it. That's a wrap on her. Her ass is done. Oh fuck, apparently I cut out again on stream. At least I've been playing this for like literally uh three hours, so Punch I'll be punching. What is he gonna do? Oh, he has a little thing too. I guess he's gonna transform now. Everybody's transforming. Oh shit! It's like an old sage almost. All right. I assume this is likely where Efreet loses. This man could fly, look. I ain't trying to hear that. Well, I am the god of thunder and I we completely obliterated me. He obliterated the hell out of me. Uh so that's my Discord, uh well not my Discord, my OBS connected. I got destroyed by Zeus, the god of thunder. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh. You're too nice is your problem. This is all on the VOD, so VOD users will be seeing this fully aired. Three hours of content. Three hours. We in there. We in there. We in there. We in there.
And uh, I guess they're taking my body home. <laughs> I'm going home in a wheelchair. Uh... The ghost you've been chasing was inside you all along. <laughs> I'll be damned if I know what that means. I'm surprised Clive is even still breathing. Yeah, she's okay too. Absolutely no consequence. We're ripping off each other's summons arms and legs like no tomorrow. Or maybe she's barely alive, huh? Why did you have to listen to him? Oh never mind, she is fucking dead. <laughs> I thought they were going to pull, like, the anime trope of, you know, characters still barely alive to give a little bit of a monologue, but never mind. She's just fucking dead, dude. Okay, okay. Thank you for subverting my expectations. You know how they pull, like, oh, I'm still partially like maybe 20 percent alive i'm i'm just partially they they do that shit all the time on dragon ball i'm not really dead just yet she's just deceased my guy well i did what i wanted to do filter We're dealing with more of this nonsense. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Grigor's breath for your wings. Oh well, transform into a dry <laughs> giant dragon, okay? Guy, the white knight. Hmm, get off me. Two epic words. Ah. We form the cohorts. At once. Oh, this pretty boy, what the fuck? Saboteurs. He needs to be killed next. Even in the holy the attacks are frequent. What of my father? Is he? 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 Is
expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. I have a feeling he's going to be set up as the next sort of antagonist or guy out of control. Yeah. He got that walk. He got a stick up his ass. <laughs> he got that walk. Well, I'm a prisoner now, so this reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. I guess I'm going to be tortured. No Geneva Convention is coming to save me. I <laughs> Joshua. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then Whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Knew it. Hey. Kill me. It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. I was just like, oh, no, what's going on? I'm gonna give you an equal right, right to the face. Oh, God, no, I don't need to see Clive's meat. Come on, man. It seems to me. I bet, I bet all of them Final Fantasy, like, female less players were, like, creaming over the scene because they got to saw Clive naked. A cooman? <laughs> I'm going to hell, man. Puzzle clothes are you free? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm saving my game after this. I'm done for the night. And the there, that's like pure laughs and comedy. I don't want to skip this either because this is my first time seeing this cutscene actually. Oh, I got my armor back. Thank God. Now I'm not like Metal Gear Solid 2 riding anymore. Okay, that's it for tonight. The wages of guilt. So he's taking responsibility for saying he killed his brother and you know, his family because of the Phoenix spirit inside of him. So I guess he finally discovered that e freak power. West Lock. Okay. All right, where's the safe point at? I think it's a system. Garuda channel. Hello, I have new skill up points. You got that combo there. Use that in midair. Rising attack. And then the deadly embrace. Rogue's Gambit? What is that? Jump back and then deliver a punishing counter. Oh, shit. And I... That's like a giant... What the... Yo, that move looks insane. That one right there. And it summons the giant tornado that was in the fight. I kind of want to save up for that. I'm not going to lie. 
I guess these are the supers. Yeah. Or or the limit breaks maybe. Okay, this game I have to come back to it. Like I said this is a one-off series, but I will definitely come back to it on my own spare time and play it a little bit more for the channel before I say I'm going to go and enjoy the game on my leisure time. But as I said before, once again, I'm sorry for the cutouts randomly. It's weird. Uh, that link has my, that link right there has my horror and variety discord. So I'm on there all the time, sort of talking it up with the community. And if you have any questions or whatever about survival horror or Final Fantasy and stuff like that, you can follow me on either in the description. I'm going to head out to get something to eat and then go to bed. Um, this was fun. This was a fun night, regardless of the tech issues. I am working on it. It will be fixed soon. And in the future, it will become less of a problem. Let me save it real quick. Uh, which save was it? I think it was this one. Yep. All right. So I'm done for tonight. Good three hour and 30 minute stream from what I can tell. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out and have a fantastic night. Take care of yourselves later.